I've been fascinated with parapsychology for most of my uh, adult life because if anything about it is true, then it would cause us to reflect on what our perceptions of reality is. What are your views on that? Well, I think it's an experimental, que an empirical question, really. Um, do these phenomena exist? The evidence suggests that things like telepathy and so on really do. I take seriously people's experience. Science is meant to be empirical. That means it's based on experience. And if you look at experience, you find that the majority of the population claim to have had telepathic experiences. Many people have had precognitive dreams. They've dreamt about things that later happen. Many people have had extraordinary coincidences. There are millions of claims. So I think science should start from the assumption that reasonable, normal people whose testimony would be trusted in a court of law, um, normal, sane, balanced citizens, uh, are probably telling the truth. And now some of my colleagues take the opposite view. They say all these people are completely wrong and deluded and stupid and uh, deceived by these experiences because they don't exist. So then you say, well, how do you know they don't exist? And they say, well, they're just impossible. Um, now, that's a dogmatic position, all too common among some more limited kinds of scientists. Um, and I think that we need to look at these things experimentally. The scientific method is a method of inquiry. It's not a system of dogmas. I want to ask that if it were real, or even if a very small percentage of it were real, what would it imply in your understanding of reality to the structure of how things are? I think different kinds of parapsychological phenomena have different implications, but let's take telepathy. Um, I think there's good evidence that people can influence animals, dogs can pick up their owners' thoughts at a distance, that people can influence people. Um, you think of someone and, and then they call and you say, it's funny, I was just thinking about you. That's something I've done experimental research on. What the research shows is that these connections occur between people who know each other well. Telepathy works best between members of families and close friends. It doesn't typically work with strangers. And what telepathy implies is that social bonds between members of social groups, whether they're animal or human groups, um, enable them to remain connected at a distance. And, and how possibly could that happen? I think that the social groups have fields. There's a field of each social group. Flocks of birds, when they all turn at the same time, I think are part of a field schools of fish when they change direction. When you say a field, you mean an analogy like to a magnetic field? Yes. In this case, it's what I would call a morphic field, a field of form or shape or organization, that members of that group um, interact with each other within the field. When they go apart, that field, uh, as it were, stretches. Uh, it doesn't break. They remain connected at a distance in a way analogous to quantum entanglement, where two particles that have been part of the same system remain connected at a distance, so change in one affects the other.